What's up, world? What's happening? It's your man, Ron Star. You're back in action. Tune in. Faceland TV. Got a special guest, ladies and gentlemen. I'm really excited to do this interview. My man, Brandon McKinney, right here himself, live in person from the San Diego Charge. What's up, bro? What's going on, man? How you doing, man? I'm good about yourself. Man, I'm doing good, man. You guys had a, had a real good season this year. Yeah, man. It feels short a little bit, but Just a little bit. Just okay. Little bit. That's what they always say, man. Mm-hmm. We're going to start it off, man. Ask my man, Brandon, real quick, you know. Just tell the people briefly, man. Talk to them and let them know, um, you know a little bit about your journey uh, to where, you know, to get where you are now. Oh, well, I grew up in uh, Dayton, Ohio, and I went to Michigan State University, graduated in four and a half years in sociology. And uh, I was an undrafted free agent when I went to San Diego. Ended up playing half my first season. This is my second year. I just completed and I played the whole year. Played 14 games. Wow. Yeah. That's what's up. That's, that's good business, man. Not too many people actually... Um, you know, get that degree, you know, while they're in school, they go to the league real mm-hmm. quick, man. So, you know, growing up, did you always have aspirations to, to get in the league in the NFL? I mean, what was your dream when you was growing up, man? man trying to get in that league, man. Uh, I've been playing football since I was seven years old. Okay. You know, now I'm 24, so I've been playing basically my whole life, you know, come from a football family. Okay, so since you've been, you know, my question to you next is, you, you've been playing football all your life, you know, something you expected of yourself because you put in a lot of hard work. Mm-hmm. So what's, what would be a uh, successful career to you, man? At the end of the day, um, for me, uh, playing you know ten to fifteen years, you know, is a pretty good career. Making a couple Pro Bowls, you know, if need be. But the most okay. important thing, you know, being a good teammate, being effective when I'm playing, you know, being a Pro Bowl is not everything, but it's a good you know accolade to have. Faceland TV, you're hearing it here first, my man Brandon McKinney, live in action, Dayton, Ohio. Stand up. We'll be right back. FaceLandRadio.com, you know where you're tuning in, folks. Here with a special guest, my man Brandon McKinney, representing the San Diego Chargers, right here live in the studio, man, making it happen. You know, it's a pleasure to have you here, bro. Good to be here, man. Definitely, man. So we're gonna switch this, we're gonna switch it up a little bit, man. And since you know this is where we do play the little music, the hottest artists and underground artists, you know, who you listening to right now, man? Who you feeling? Uh, that American Gangster stay in my truck, man. Uh, Lil Wayne stay in my truck. Okay. Lupe. Okay. Um, Lil Kanye. Yeah. yeah. It's all in my truck right now. Oh, uh, he messed with all real artists. Mm-hmm. He fit in real oh, right yeah. around here. That's, oh, that's yeah. what we represent at Face Land Radio. Definitely the realest mm-hmm. of the real and the artist. Mm-hmm. So, right, I got to ask you this. You know, I'm sure you grew up on music. You know, before you got in the game on the field, who do you listen to? Oh, man. Who gets you hyped for the game, man? I'm listening to Lil Wayne, man. Uh, the Carter, too. Carter too. Got to. Whole album, no matter what song. Whole album. Uh, I got a little G's in my system, you know. Okay. That's how I'm feeling. You know, I'm, I'm ready to go play it in. Lil Wayne, man, big up. He been doing this thing oh, for yeah. a minute, man. That's oh, a lot. Of, that's a lot of a lot of athletes' favorite artists right now. So he must be doing something right. <laughs> so, so, um, you know, I look at it as you know, you went to Michigan State, man. You made it to the league. You know, with that, I know it's a lot of pressure from, from where you came from. You know, did you have a problem or how did you deal with making it to the NFL and people wanting to contact you, old friends or however? How did that play out with you, man? Oh, um, man, not, not too bad. All my friends are pretty successful, you know, going to college and coming yeah. back home and doing what they do and whatnot. But, you know, nobody really you know, attacking on the, uh, on, the, on the tail or anything like that. Yeah. So kids, listen, you listen to him. He said it's real important to have that tight group of friends that's doing the same things you're doing. Mm-hmm. Definitely keep that in mind as you go out on your, your future ventures. Um, you know, I'll ask you this. You know, how do you feel? Um, how do you feel about the current state of uh, the current state of hip hop, man? I mean, what do you think is next? You know, I don't want to just get inside. Oh man, man. I, I don't know, man. There's so much creativity out there. You know, what I'm saying it's just yeah. I'm just waiting for the next big thing to happen. You know, I mean. I, I like what Jake doing. He keep coming back. He keep coming with it. Kanye, he, he hot right now. Right. You know, Lil Wayne, he <laughs> goes without saying. You know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm just waiting for the next big thing, man. So let's say, man, you at the round table. Mm-hmm. You know, you get to go to dinner and, and get to talk to any artist that's that's ever been out. You know, whoever right. had an album. You know, who's your five people? Who's your fat five of artists that you want to sit down man, with? I'm, I want to sit with uh, the N24. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 24. I want to sit, man, with Jay. Wayne, Biggie, All right. Tupac, um, and Kanye right now. Hey, that's, 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 that's a damn near real competitive top five, man. You know you're tuning in. You're getting all the latest info on my man right here, Brandon McKinney, representing FaceLandRadio.com. Keep it locked. FaceLand TV, 
back in action right here. Your man, Ron Star. You know what it is. Getting it popping, man. Exclusive interview with my man, Brandon McKinney. I know you're going to love it. So right now, man, I'd like to take this time and just ask you, is anybody out there that you would like to give, uh, you know, pay respects or, or give tribute to for supporting you along your way? And also let the people know uh, what you got going on besides a football field, man. Um, man I'd like to give it up, man, to my whole family, you know. It's been my, my backbone of just of school and then my football career. And, you know, I'm starting a foundation. You know, I already have a program in California called BJ's Kids. Okay. I'm uh, in the middle of raising money right now. I got a golf album in um, June 16th. Okay. And I'm going to have a, um, a whole weekend here in Dayton, Ohio. I'm going to come out there, man. Oh, yeah. I hit the ball oh, a little yeah. bit myself. Oh, yeah. got to. <laughs> I'm going to have a whole weekend here in Dayton, Ohio. Um, it's going um, to consist of a bowling tournament. Okay. 707 Camp for High Schools and uh, a meet me at the Green event. When's that coming? You got a date on that? That'll be June 23rd. June 23rd. I'm sorry, June 28th. 28th, okay. Yeah, June 28th, yeah. All right. That's cool. What else? What else? What else you got going on, man? Man, that's about it right now. Uh, I mean, that's enough. <laughs> you're, you're, you're a busy man. Yeah. That, so that's that's important. You're planning on giving back while you're yeah. building yourself up, man. That's got important. To, got to. That's important. Well, listen, folks. This man right here, 24 year old, and you're going to hear a lot of big things. More to come from Mr. Brandon McKinney. It's been a pleasure, bro. All right, my pleasure. Appreciate you stopping through, showing FaceLandRadio.com some love. Keep it locked right here. Exclusive interviews every week. 10 to 11, you know what it is.